Hi everybody, this is Money Mom. I'm going to upload this video Thursday morning. I want to tell you two additional really great ways that you can save a lot of money. And one of them is something that I helped a very dear and sweet friend with today. So let's get started. I know I've spoken about this kind of thing before a little bit here and there, but I want to give you an example. The two ways that you can save a lot of money. Number one, this is if you live in an area where you have a lot of friends and family or people you know. And what I'm about to tell you may seem a little unconventional. So I'll give you an idea of what, I, what my friend did and you'll kind of see. One of my dear friends and I went walking this evening and she came over and we had a lovely time together. And uh, we love to walk together. And so we're doing that. Well, my dear friend, she said, gosh, she goes, i got to stop at the store. And I said, oh, why? What do you need? I'm just curious. I'm nosy. Anyway, um, and she said she needed something like a Febreze, like a spray for the room. She needed some kind of pet deodorizer. And she needed some small and large envelopes. So she was going to go to the store and she had cash. I said, you don't need to go to the store and buy any of those things. She said, why? I said, I have all that stuff at my house. You know, I stockpile things, and I got some of this stuff with coupons with a really great deal. And I have tons of manila envelopes, okay, and I don't go through them that quickly. To be honest with you, I've purchased them so many years ago, I don't even know why we purchased them, but we have a lot. I said, you don't need to buy any of this stuff. So she, and so she waited in her car when she dropped me off. I ran in the house. I knew where the stuff was. I went and I got her the pet deodorizer, the spray, and the two different sizes of manila envelopes. And I brought it out to her. She goes, oh, thank you so much. She goes, this is going to save me a lot of money. I said, anytime you need something, well, I don't care if it's a kind of anything. It could be, you know, one other time she said, do you have a stick of butter? Or do you have a couple eggs? Now, I've done the same thing to her. She's given me some things that she's had before. So we're, it, we're very reciprocal in our friendship. But if people started doing this more, and I remember back in the 70s and the olden days when I grew up, People did that more. If all of us did this more in each other's life, we could save a lot of money. Say, for example, somebody, my daughter's um, small and petite, you know, in high school, well, she's actually not that different in high school. She's like five foot one and a half, you know, around 114 pounds. And she has a couple different really gorgeous um, formal dresses. Obviously, you know, you only wear those once. So if, say, somebody was about her size and said, gosh, I really need a couple formal dresses. Oh, uh, gosh, we don't have the money. I don't want to go out and spend it. Well, if they liked my daughter's dress and if they needed to get it taken in or taken out, I would just give it to them, you know. So I just really think that it's really great if you've got a good support system. If you could ask each other or tell each other what y'all need and the other person just might have it. Like one of my friends, another thing is I said, you know, I'd like to have another little mini blender in case this one goes out, you know, and that way I can make my shakes because I don't always like to use this great big heavy blender. And she says, well, Dawn, I've got an extra one in storage. I'll bring it to you. I'm not even using it. I'm like, great. So this is just an example of some way if you feel comfortable doing this, it could save people a lot of money. Let's put it this way. I always say this to you guys. I think most of you would love to be my next door neighbor. Some of you would think I talk too much and would have to put put um, little uh, earmuffs on you, but many of you would enjoy me. You would never go hungry. But anyway, that's number one. Number two, and this same friend did this. This particular friend I'm talking about, her husband and her are both very handy. And her husband does some uh, handyman work and pool work, and they needed another vehicle. Well, guess what they did? And it's actually a nice van. They got a van you could save for free, but they bartered for it. Basically, this her particular husband is doing a bunch of work on this person's pool to pay out the van that they bought. So bartering may be something else. This her friend that I'm talking about has done a lot of bartering for different things that she wants. Instead of paying, they'll do work instead. So you may think about that. Like... I'm just going to make up an example. Let's pretend you've got two small children and you don't want to, you would like to go out twice a month with your husband on a little date. But it's, you don't live near family, um, but you've got a close friend. Maybe she could babysit for you a couple nights and maybe you're good at something. Maybe you could help her child with math or you could, 
you know, help her with some organizing at her house. Just These are just a couple little examples. I do a little bit of bartering myself, and I've done that before, where maybe somebody comes over and helps me organize. I maybe go over to their house and help them clean something. You know, things like this. So it's just something for all of us to think about. If you need something, talk to a friend about it. Maybe they have it, number one. Number two, think about all the skills that you have and everything you can offer to someone and maybe what people can offer for you and maybe you could trade. That could save us a lot of money. I want to hear from you on this wonderful subject and what you think about my two ideas. I really appreciate y'all watching and tonight I have some huge news. I love you. Bye.